Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my 40-day fast. This is an annual thing. I'm starting now. This is going to be my second year. I did this last year. I did it for 40 days. I started with uh, distilled water at the beginning and uh, lasted for 10 days with that. And when I began to get weak, then I went on and I finished the rest of the other 30 days on grapes. You was eating grapes and raisins through the whole period. You know, and that's how it ended. And uh, I believe I lost about 20 pounds. I think I was 153 when I started, and I ended with 133. Uh, uh, then, um, so I'm still in my, within my weight category. My weight category, uh, limit category is uh, between 121 and 153. So I don't recommend that you do a complete fast like I'm doing unless, you know, you're fit and within your... Uh, category to, to do an extreme fast like mine. I did not do this to lose weight. I was already in my normal weight category when I did this fast. I did this fast for spiritual reasons. But at the same time, you need to understand that there's many things that happen uh, during, a, during a fast. And many, many ways that you can fast. The idea of fasting is to abstain from something, you know, that wasn't really doing you anything either otherwise spiritual wise or health wise it wasn't doing you anything and try to leave those things behind and appropriate new things that will help you with your health and will help you with your spiritual walk so you know there are many things that we can do in this process so I'm starting this today this is the first day I know it's still not the first of January it will be until tomorrow but since it's Monday and I like to start things on Mondays when I start that's why I'm starting on the 31st so already today I, I drank uh, a couple of the, about 16 ounces of the silver water with some Himalayan salt, a little bit of that I sprinkled on it. That's the only difference now this time. I'm adding some minerals from the Himalayan salt. The Himalayan salt is the most nutritious salt there is. It has the most nutrients than all the other salts. So, and the reason why I'm using the still water is because the still water has nothing in it. You know, if you use any other water, you have some other kinds of minerals, who knows what. But the still water has no content of anything, and then you can add the nutrients that are found in the Himalayan salt in that, and just a little sprinkle in it, you know, with your grinder, and drink it. That way, I think I'm going to last a little longer that way, because I'm going to put some, uh, you know, mineral uh, content. Because if you just drink water, that's distilled water, and uh, you don't put any minerals on it, all the minerals are gonna that you have in your body eventually are going to, be drained out, and that's probably why I was a little weak, I think, last year, after 10 days of just the still water with nothing else. So on this time, I'm adding a little bit of those uh, minerals found in the Himalayan salt water, in the Himalayan salt, so make it, you know, salty water that way. And uh, I expect to maybe last up, up to maybe double it, go to maybe 21 days, you know, like three weeks on water, and then finish the rest uh, on grapes. But I'll see what's, you know, Whatever the Lord enables me to do, that's what I'm going to do. So that's just an idea I had. But welcome to this. And so I'm encouraged, you know, that the Lord has given me a, the strength to start this again. So this is the first day of the 30-day fast. It's December 31st, 2012, the last day of the year, 2012. Last year I started on the 2nd, January 2nd. But this day I started one day before because I start on Monday, like I say. I always start on Monday. So it happens to be the closest Monday to the beginning of the year, so I'm starting now. Okay, and uh, I'll be talking more to you about as, as, as I progress and how I feel during the past. You know, I'm, I'll be posting this on, uh, on YouTube and linking it to uh, my Facebook page. If you have any questions of any kind, as to the kinds of past you want to do, you know, I'll, I'll try to answer them here on this video log as I go day by day. But uh, I tell you, this is the best time. I think it's the, the energy to do something is right here. Like... To me, it's perfect to start a 40-day fast in January because there's really no big events. I don't have any birthday parties or anything to go to until, like, but the middle of uh, February. You know, and by the middle of February, I'm done with the 40-day fast. Like, in the middle of February is when my, my brother's and my sister's birthday, you know, John. And uh, I do have other parties that are going to come up, but I think I'll be able to restrain from that during this time at the beginning. I find I have a lot of strength and determination to do this. But, so that's why it's that's a good time, you know, the big the big festival is going to be on the uh, Valentine's Day for most people, so it's a good time to go do something 
and stick on it at least for 21 days, you know, to establish a habit. So, you know, if you're going to do something, I encourage you to stick by it and, you know, write it down, set, set it as a, as a plan for yourself. I find out that when you write things down, you know, it's like you're programming your mind to something that you're looking, the goal that you're looking forward to accomplish. And it's best to write it down, you know, and then keep a log of it every day. Look at it every day, you know, and uh, do things so you make sure that you stick to it. But I'll be talking some more. So this is the first day. And the Lord gave me a song already. I was thinking that, you know, that I came to do this only by, uh, like, I lost all this weight that I had lost, you know. How big I used to be, like, uh, the biggest I was was 358, and the Lord brought me down to 133. Now, I'm not down to 133, and now I gained about 14 pounds last year. We still am in my normal weight category, so that's probably in my first 21 days, I'm going to be back to 133 again. But, you know, uh, I'm still within my normal weight, and that was the whole idea. But I think that one thing I, uh, I discovered, I discovered something amazing about the wheat bread that we eat that allowed me to gain those 14 pounds. And this year I'm starting with that knowledge. So I believe that I want to be able to lose those 14 pounds very easy and be able to maintain the whole year because I'm doing something with wheat that you're supposed to do yourself too. And we'll, I'll be talking more about that, you know, and I'll be explaining to you as the days go by, you know, how, how doing a fast just of wheat, eliminating just of wheat and doing everything else. You can eat bread made of almond flour or coconut flour you know, you don't have to eliminate the breads or everything, but all the products that contain wheat on it, if you eliminate that, you'll drop the pounds with no exercising whatsoever. You know, in three months, just eliminating that. So you can do a fast of just eliminating wheat, but I'll be talking more about that. And I would encourage you, if you're a person that eat things that eat wheat, do not do a water fast because you'll be craving up a storm. You got to learn to do a fast of wheat first. And when you learn to eliminate the wheat, then you can do a fast like I'm doing and I have no cravings. Because I, I eliminate wheat already, but I'll, I'll explain more about that. But So that's one of the things I'll be talking about. You know, little things that you can do to start fast for your health and also for your spiritual journey. But I have a song that the Lord encouraged me from Psalm 127, verse 1. Like I say, it's only by following the word. I did not go to any uh, clubs or I didn't go to any gym. I just followed the counsel of the word. And it, it was free. I just followed what the word taught me and I was able to lose all those pounds you know and so I freely receive so I freely give so that's why I have from Psalm 119 I'm sorry 100, Psalm 127 verse 1 you know from the King James Version it says except the Lord build a house the labor in vain that build it except the Lord keep the city the watchman wake it but in vain Psalm 127 verse 1 I'm gonna read it again except the Lord build a house they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake it, but in vain. And to me, the Lord is the Word of God. He is the Logos that became flesh. And so the Word of God is my Lord. You know, just like the Levites were told that the Word of God, they had inherited the, the Word of God. Everybody here in lands and they inherit the Word of God. Says, the Lord is thy inheritance. They're referring to the keeping of the, the five books of the, uh, written by Moses. Okay, so to me, the Word is the Lord. Okay, and so I wrote this, uh, well, this is a little song. I put that verse in a little song this morning. The Lord gave it to me, so I'm going to sing it to you to encourage you to begin by following the Word and following those who advise you who also have followed the Word and have seen results in their life. Don't follow an advice of somebody that's telling you how to lose weight and they themselves are big fat, big fat blobs that haven't done anything. Follow the example of those that are telling you something that they themselves have experienced. You know, they'll, you'll be able to get to their goal as well. You know, it's, it's simple. Simple makes sense commandment. Right, here we go. Except the Lord build a house, labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord give the city.
and I also will be singing them to you. So praise God for that. And God bless you today. Be encouraged. In the name of the Lord. Amen.